Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to flip video number three uh, about fractions. And, you know, the weirdest thing happened to me this weekend. And we're gonna, we're just gonna get right into the story. So, I am a man who loves his food. And you guys know this. And if you think what my favorite food, one of my favorite foods is, it's not kindergartners, I know some of you probably thought that, but one of my favorite foods is bacon. Absolutely love bacon. In moderation, you don't want to eat too much. But I was at the uh, restaurant over the weekend, and a man came up to me and he said, Sir, I will fill your plate with one half of it with bacon. And I'm thinking, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That seems like a lot of bacon. It's a pretty big plate. But then another man came up to me and he said, Sir, I'll fill your plate with two-ninths of it with bacon. And I'm thinking, well, two-ninths, that... I don't know which one's bigger. So I thought back to my fourth grade teacher. And my fourth grade teacher loved butterflies. She taught us this way called the butterfly method to figure out which one was bigger. So in the butterfly method, what you do is you circle diagonally. So you see, um, and then you're going to multiply. So you do two times two, and that gives you four. And you write that right above that one wing. Then you circle diagonally again. And now you do 9 times 1. And that gives you 9. You put it right above. And then what she did to complete her butterfly... Let me move my bacon out of the way. Whoa. I'm going to move my bacon. Alright. To complete her butterfly, she would draw the body of the butterfly. And then where the face would be, she would have it, you know, like greater than, less than, or equal to. She would eat the bigger number. So, although... Let me see if I can get some of this out of the way. So, I am going to check this with a little sketch. So if I make this smaller, move it out of the way. Let's say I have two dinner plates. So I have two equal sized dinner plates, or breakfast plates in this example. This first one I'll divide in half, because that's what this is representing. This next one I'll divide in ninths, which is always a challenge to do, because ninths are hard to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Uh, so one half of my plate would be filled with bacon. So that's one half. And now two ninths. Two ninths. If we look at that, two that's a very small amount of my plate would be covered with bacon. So I sketched it. It's kind of hard to use sketching as your main method, which is why we do butterfly as our main method. But sketching can kind of help you prove and understand your thinking. But it's not exact because, like you, sh you see in mine, I have some that ninth is really tiny and that one's really big. But that's because it's kind of hard to draw on an iPad. So now it's your turn to try. This is now you bring back to school problem. This is just your middle of the video problem. Do yourself a butterfly method and let me know which one is either greater than, less than, or equal to. Alright, hopefully you've solved it. Now we do our butterfly, so it's 5 times 7 equals 35. We'll put that right up there. 10 times 4 is 40, so I will put that right up there. And now I draw my butterfly's body. Butterfly is going to eat the bigger number, the 40. And now I know that it's correct. Now I like to check myself with a quick little sketch. So I'll sketch this out here. So I'm going to draw two equal size bars. Split the first one into five sections, so I represent this one. One, two, three, four, and so I have fifth section. And then I'll make this second one ten sections to represent this, so it's one, two, three, four, and then divide each one and a half to make tenths. Now I'll go and shade in to check. So I see I have one, two, three, four sections shaded in on the first one, seven sections in the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I don't have an exact drawing because it's really hard to draw fractions freehand. But I see I have slightly more in this one because I would need this one shaded in to match that one and this one to be more. So I know that is correct. So your final bring back to school problem is this. I have two fifths and I would like to know is it greater than, equal to, or less than, 3 6. Do the butterfly method to show your work, bring it back to me in the morning.